Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are finally playing Battle Sector properly the whole way through. That's right. Well, we're not doing the whole way through today, because that might take too long. Um, but this is the final sort of press preview build. Uh, this isn't the release build, although it does say 1.0.0 uh, down at the bottom. There might still be more patches and things before release or at release. I don't know. I'm not the developers. But this is the full game, and I can show you the full game. But obviously not today, because that will take too long. Uh, but we can at least make a start. So, the reason why I'm starting again, because I have started this game twice already on the channel, now for a third time, uh, there's new difficulty settings. And I think this is going to be really fun. So there's the normal, you know, pick your difficulty. But they have custom difficulty. And this I really love in games like this, where you can sort of fine-tune uh, your gaming experience a little bit. Often, it does lead me to picking a bunch of options that I end up realising completely ruined the balance of the game. But, for a let's play, I think it's a lot of fun. So, reinforcements. This is enemy reinforcements. We're going to put them on high. So we're going to have a bunch of enemies coming for us. Uh, we're not going to enhance them, though. They're going to remain a bit rubbish. Uh, upgrade, uh, weapon upgrade costs. None. It's going to cost nothing to upgrade, which is a cheat. That's going to help us a lot. But, it also means that if I unlock any abilities for our units then, yeah, we'll just have them. We won't have to buy them, right? It means we'll have a nice range of options to use uh, so I can showcase all of the fun bells and whistles and I don't have to make sure that I have it on a specific unit to make sure they're in a specific place to use it, so whatever. It'll make it easier, but it means it'll encourage us to play with toys more. And I like toys. I think it's fun, especially when we're trying to showcase a bunch of different toys. Also, reduced HQ token rewards. We're not going to reduce that. Reduced army point caps. I guess we'll just leave as normal. Increased enemy momentum. So every time the enemy attack us, they will gain momentum and they can use that momentum. Uh, much like we can to get additional turns and things like that. Additional action points or augmented ability. Whatever. So, the fact that there's a bunch of them, we're going to have to really keep on top of them or they're going to hit us with, uh, with this increased momentum. We're not going to reduce our momentum or CP gains. That's command points. Um, we are going to have units provide cover because this should uh, actually be a disadvantage to us because in this game, each individual model in a unit affects how much damage the unit can do. But even if there's only one model left in a, you know, a whole squad of like 10 Tyranids, it'll still occupy the same amount of space, right? It'll still occupy a hex. So basically what you can do is whittle down a unit until it can barely hurt you and then just shoot over its head. So this avoids us being able to cheese that too much. So a nice way to balance that. I think this should just be on by default, generally, just because that tactic does exist and it's a bit cheesy. Um, but, you know, fine. Uh, enemy AI difficulty, I'm going to put that to high. I don't know how much difference this makes. And last chance to revive HP, we're going to leave on 20 HP. So basically, if any of our sort of heroes or main characters or anything die, they come back to life with 20% hit points, which, well, sorry, not 20%, just 20 hit points, which pretty much means they get shot again and they're dead. You know, it just gives you one little get-out-of-jail-free card to be able to get them out of dodge if uh, something does jump out and surprise you, which is nice. It means you have to restart the whole level, but it still means that they're essentially out of action, unless you can heal them up again, which, you know, again, more tactical options. I like that. So, uh, it still says we're on Astartes, but actually, these all these options do is change what's down here. So, I don't know what it actually is on, this doesn't update in relation to this. There should be another one for custom, really, but the result is the same. So this is what we're going to try. This is what we're going to try. So a lot more enemies and um, a lot more abilities. So more anarchy, I suppose. Should be a giggle. So following the devastation of Baal, the Blood Angels work to heal their homeworld and their chapter. Saved from the brink of extinction by the, in, uh, the Indomitus Crusade, they now find their ranks bolstered by new Primaris Space Marines. Few remnants of the Tyranid invasion remain, and Primarch uh, Robut Gilliman is eager to leave Baal and continue with his crusade. Sergeant Carleon of the 8th Company returns to Baal Secundus and has been tasked to assess the battle readiness of these new Primaris soldiers. As the drop pod hurtles towards his home moon, he considers the arrival of these new battle brothers and the cost of his unlikely survival against the relentless hive fleet Leviathan. Time flows in contradiction since the invasion. There's an unexpected slowness in the aftermath of an impossible victory. A languid sweetness of air, tasted by the hapless victor. And yet, I also feel the turning of change, and the accumulated minutiae that falls to the survivors. 
Corpses to be burned. Fortifications to be rebuilt. Neophytes to be blooded. Regardless of our losses, we are the angels of death. And we are always prepared for war. Not that these are concerns for the fledgling Primaris right now. Balfora is an unforgiving tutor. Dante says that you are blood angels. Prove it. Show me that the blood of the great angel flows within your veins. Battle line squad ready. All right, so here we are. Uh, right, so we're going to need to kill these guys in a hurry. But what we, we can do... With our blood blades of Skyfall, apparently. Uh, and Sergeant Carleon. Yep. Victory for Skyfall. Yep, victory for Skyfall. Uh, that's, you know, that, I thought that was one of the better James Bond movies. Uh, so, My jump pack. Let's hop in nice and quickly. So these don't to cost us sky, any action points or movement to use. Uh, which is really nice. Oh wait, or do they cost us movement? They do cost us movement, but not action points. There we go. Anyway, um, so it's really nice. You can jump in uh, over terrain and further than you can run. And it means you can startle people. But we do have two AP, as you can see, for Sergeant Carleon, which means he can attack twice, either with his, with his master crafted bolt pistol or his chainsword. So we're going to use the chainsword, because as you can see, it does some good work there. Not bad at all. And we're going to try again. And, oh, thanks for targeting different units. That's really kind of you. Good. And now we're going to try and finish off with our assault marines here. Not bad. We are getting retaliated against, though. But hey, not bad. Let's get some shot in with this this squad here. Excellent. And we've also got these ones to deal with. So we have our uh, intercessors. Yes, yes, which is just your normal bog standard boring uh, space marines. And here we have... Yes, we have our walls and guns here. Uh, the aggressors. Which I think are really fun. They've got little missile racks on top of their head. And um, they're very, very scary. So they do have this uh, Fragstorm grenade launcher. That is going to fire a salvo. But we're not going to do that. We also have the Boltstorm gauntlets. Which I, this is this does bug me. And I hope they change this. Um, but to say that this is called. You can see at the top what this ability is called. It's Boltstorm gauntlet. And over here you have Boltstorm gauntlet. One of these is a melee attack. And one of them is a missile attack. There should be some distinction between these two. Just going to put that out there. That is that is a weird design choice. But anyway, we're going to punch these guys. Oh, you survived? You cheeky. Cheeky boy. You cheeky Tyranids. Alright, so let's get both these up here. So you can see with the movement pips here. So movement points are uh, movement points down here. The, uh, the little blue uh, four-pointed arrow thing uh that's the amount of movement points obviously you know one square is one movement but you can see the little red well orange i guess the little orange pips that's actually an action point so you can forego doing an action like shoot some people and move further if you want which i think is a really interesting way to do it it also means you can shoot uh so you can move shoot and then continue moving these are completely separate it's not like XCOM where you sort of lock yourself into a movement on you know your action ends your turn or anything like that so it gives you some really good flexibility for sort of running out, firing, and then running away. Um, there's fun stuff you could do. Or, you know, if you had the uh, Assault Squad, for instance, you could run around a corner, stab some people, and then jump over a wall to escape. There's cool stuff you could do with that flexibility that I really like. So, Tyranids, obviously, we've got the Hormigants, are the ones that can uh, just get you with their claws. And there's the Turbigants that shoot you with um, sort of, uh, I don't know, like acid or something. Some weird bioweapon projectile thing. Uh, it looks like we only have Hormigants here though, so we only have to worry about them clawing at our giblets. It's the worst place to be clawed, if I'm honest. So that'll do. Let's end the turn. Okay, come at me, bro. So, if we hadn't used all of our movements, we could have set up overwatches. You can overwatch. And here you can see, if you have pistols equipped, or at least the skill pistol suppression or whatever it was, whatever flashed up there. I'm bad with names. 
then you do get to counterattack if you're attacked. You get to basically uh, get a free overwatch on the condition that you are being attacked. So there is that. So, uh, for instance, the Assault Squad and uh, Carleon also have that. So it's pretty, pretty handy, I'd say. So I think what we need to do is probably... Um, I think I might just punch them again. Although, accuracy... You know what? That'll probably kill three of them. Let's, let's just punch him. Let's punch him. Wonderful. Some good damage. Some good damage. Your orders. And let's get this one over. So I want to kill these before I move these uh, out of range. If you're within a space, you will suffer uh, some penalties to accuracy if you're engaged. And also, if you walk past someone then you'll basically walk into their engagement range and you take an attack of opportunity when you leave. So we do need to be careful there. We do need to be careful there. Uh, let's have you move that way. You move that way. And we're going to set up a little Overwatch trap here. Uh, yeah, that's why I want it. I just want to mark these two for Overwatch and these two. Good. Uh, you lot, I think, can sit and chill, maybe? I guess I might as well move you in and have you guys Overwatch. They're not going to do much, but better than nothing, right? They nothing else i got to worry about. This close. I'm sure they will. Let's see if they even get that close. We'll see. So you can see momentum drops after every turn. When you attack stuff, it puts up your momentum. When you get enough momentum, you can uh, you can get bonus actions and things, which is rather nice. So here comes another overwatch. Nice and close. Not bad. Not bad. You guys going to... Oh, you're going to finish them off, are you? Brilliant. And you see we've got momentum for every hit. And you get additional momentum for kills. Alright, here they come. Here they come. So, more on their way. And while we're here, we have our aggressors. And, oh, they count as being behind a lot of cover. Which I don't think is entirely true. I think it's because we are stood behind a wall. So, yep, there we go. So, Flagstorm uh, Grenade Launcher. We can have this pop off now. Ton of damage. Really, really nice. Has a three turn cooldown, but you don't have to worry about ammunition or anything, which is pretty swell. Okay, let's get you in here. Uh, you can move back, actually. And we'll have these lots just overwatch some more. Uh, okay, let's actually go an angle, so it's just those two again. I don't know who, where to overwatch with this lot, actually. Probably need to overwatch this way. Yeah, let's do that. We are the sons of Sanguinius. Okay, something like that should do it. We are the walls. And we yeah, I guess uh, you guys do the same. Cool. So, losing momentum, of course. And uh, really, you guys are going to be the ones to shoot first. Fair enough. So, very little. You know, their pistols aren't great. It really is the chainsaws that they're sort of, uh, is their primary weapon, you know? So, not bad. Are you gonna, gonna keep going? Excellent. And how about you lot? Excellent. <laughs> Actually killed quite a few there. Still some surviving, though. Oh, pistol reaction should finish them off. There we go. Wonderful. The enemy waits for us. So, there's still a couple of units left. Ready. Looks like we have to turn about. So, unless we actually lose a squad, we don't really have to worry too, too much. So, uh, we can be a little bit cavalier at this point. Still only, you know, it's only the first level, so. Always ready. Always vigilant. And we are always ready and always vigilant. So, we'll probably be fine. Okay. Overwatch. And I'm just going to overwatch because I'm going to be more accurate. When they are close. And it would be nice to have them in front so we can get the pistol overwatch as well, but what can you do? Alright, come and get me, boys. Oh, these ones first. Get some good damage in there. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, finishing a few off. And then finally, you lot. Very good hits. Not enough to kill them all, but it's okay. They shouldn't be able to kill any of ours, so we're all good. Oh, right, now what are you going to do? Hopefully get shot a lot. 
Not bad, not bad. Killed a few there. Excellent. And finally, you lot. You can barely see. Oh, I got the kill. Nice. Now I just need to finish these guys off. Done. Maybe. Oh no, slightly, slightly alive. Just ever so slightly alive. Let's get him with the pistol. My vengeance will be fine. Just to mix it up a bit. This little execution to finish. So there we go. We've got a couple fight. of tokens. I'll give you that. I don't know yet if you truly are scions of Sanguinius, or just some ruse of the Archmagos. Battle will decide. It always does. Immediate assistance required. Tyranids converge at the Voxcaster Relay on the Cell Ferratos Western Edge. Form on me, brothers. It appears Balfour has decided she's not yet done with you. All right, then. So we've got a couple of these uh, tokens. These tokens will be used for upgrades, uh, which can upgrade a bunch of things. We upgrade our hero characters, and any upgrade you get for the hero can be equipment and things for all the different squads. So it just sort of gives you a different skill tree, depending on uh, which sort of main characters are being brought to each fight. So it should be interesting to see how that plays out. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. People are born, they live, they suffer, and die. Rarely of natural causes. Days prior to the fall of Cadia, Dante faced his greatest challenge. High Fleet Leviathan had broken through the Krypton Shield, and the Tyranids bore directly for the sacred homeworld of the Blood Angels. Bar. Sons of Sanguinius rallied from the far corners of the galaxy. Complete strangers died side by side as brothers. Yet even this unprecedented congregation could not hold back the Great Devourer. In their darkest moment, the Blood Angels gathered around Lord Commander Dante. A last stand. They gave themselves to the Red Thirst and stood in defiance of the alien. Not for survival, for the chapter was doomed, but for the honor of their sire, the great Angel Sanguinius. And then, pandemonium, the Cicatrix Maledictum opened and tore the galaxy in two. Time stretched, contorted. Demons of corn poured across the moon of Baal Primus, tearing at Xenos and Marines alike. Havoc reigned. But just as quickly as it appeared, the Cicatrix Maledictum contracted. It took with it both the demons and vast swathes of High Fleet Leviathan. In their place, the Indomitus Crusade appeared, helmed by the Avenging Sun himself, Primarch Rubute Gilliman. The Blessed Primarch didn't just bring relief to Baal. He brought with him the Primaris Space Marines, thousands bearing the mark of the Blood Drop. The Primaris were larger, stronger, more resilient than their firstborn brethren. But to the Blood Angels, they represented a different kind of salvation. The promise of these super soldiers was of an improved gene line, more pure, and closer to that of Sanguinius. Away from prying ears, Archmagos' call whispered that they showed fewer signs of the flaws that plagued the great angel's blood. No more thirst beating at their hearts. No more armor to be painted black. A semblance of normality has since returned to Baal. The monolithic Indomitus Crusade prepares to leave. Commander Dante, now Lord Regent of half of the Imperium, works to heal his chapter and bar of the trauma suffered at the hands of Leviathan. And on the moon Baal Secundus, Sergeant Carlion hurries to the aid of a sanguinary priest. So 
So, cool stuff. Uh, so we do have some things to do before we uh, we do Venomous Corruption. We have to go to the HQ to get some upgrades. We do have a couple. Sadly, we can only afford one and change, because there's only one that costs one, and we have two. So. Over us. But hey, we'll be able to unlock all this nonsense um, next time, which is good. Uh, right, so that'll do. That's all I can do, so I might as well. Army management, we need to fill these up a bit more. So let's go ahead and get another aggressor. We are the wolves. We are the guns. Yes, and another we assault the troop. Blades of Skyfall. There we have a nice range of everything now. We have three intercessors, two aggressors, two uh, assault squads, and um, a, a Carlian. Brilliant. Let's do Venomous Corruption. The promise of battle makes these Primaris restless, eager. It is my duty to assess their potential here on the source of Balfora. Through combat, I intend to discover who these red armored giants truly are. Some of them take in the vistas of the salt like bored Taurus. There is little regard for the skies and sands that shaped our father. They will learn quickly. Or Balfora will kill them. She does not tolerate laxity. I expect this priest we find will also be new to his role. There is no reason other than youthful ignorance to risk the angel's blood on the salts. In these days following Leviathan's devastation, we are a chapter awash with fresh blood. Alright, so Sergeant Carleon is well respected for his training of new brothers inducted into the Blood Angels 8th Company. He specialises in the tactics and intricacies of the Assault Doctrine as outlined in the Codex Astartes. These sanguinary priesthoods numbers have been hit hard following Leviathan. During the invasion, the chapter's apothecaries were in, uh, inevitably required as frontline soldiers against the Xenos Swarm. That one should vox for assistance. While alone on Bal Secundus is reason enough to make haste across the salt flats. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Sergeant, with the relay offline, I was afraid only the Xenos had heard my calls for backup. Make haste. My reductor still has work to do. As you say, brother. The blood blades of the Eighth are ever eager to serve the sanguinary priesthood. I do enjoy the little, uh, the little cut scenes. It's just nice art. Like I don't, I don't care for necessarily all this sort of, you know, highfalutin', uh, crazy, exciting um, nonsense. Just give me something. Give me just simple, nice illustrations. I like that. Uh, so we are twenty over the limit right now. Which, I think, maybe just get rid of a Intercessor. And I'll have, yeah, two of each. I'll have two of each. That sounds good to me. Cool. Okay, so let's get the Aggressors out in front, along with Carleon. Even though he can jump jet, I want him to be in the front anyway. And we'll have these guys uh, in the back. Ish. That'll do. Probably. Maybe we should do that. Hang on. Can't swap them, apparently. There we go. I am ready to help. Oh, good. I am so glad that he is ready to help. Of course. Uh, so, I can harvest this. So, that is one of the objectives we have. Harvest the Fallen Blood Angel gene seeds. Uh, we need to get four of those. Can't let those rot away or fall into enemy hands or whatever on Earth they're about. Uh, also, we need to defend this guy against Tyranid Assault while he does this. Um, so, probably need to do something about these termagants, I'd imagine. Um, do want to go up to them and start chainsorting. I feel like the chainsword will actually do more work, so I'll ignore this for now, because I do want to get My some of these killed. Excellent. Good start. Let's go again. Wonderful. So, nearly dealt with. And, of course, he can attack twice because he's a hero. Uh, well, I'm glad. That, that cheers me right up. So, let's get these all out over here. Uh, oh, we can actually reach them. That's pretty cool. So, I'll start by shooting them, though. 
We are the sons of Sanguinius. Sanguinius there you are. Uh, Alright, let's get... Yeah, let's get him over here. With haste. Over you go. Good lad. Good lad. So, Kalyon is going to use a chain sword. Good stuff. Oh, also, one thing that has changed since the last build is that you can actually do multiple actions at once, which is jolly handy. Big fan of that. And, uh, oh no, I can't quite jump jet there, can I? Nope, I'm going to have to rely on my silly pistols. How upsetting. Although that might do it, honestly. I have great accuracy here. Didn't matter. Good. Good stuff. That'll do. Confirm an overwatch. Oh, more are coming. And these are... Uh, hang on, wait. I'm getting confused between Hormigans and Termigans again. These are the shooty ones, regardless. Yeah, I noticed, mate. You're fine, though. Don't worry. These don't do much damage. But it does add up, certainly. And... <laughs> Oh, there's a full back action. Okay. So if you try and run away, it will cause a uh, attack of opportunity. We just happen to miss the attack of opportunity. So that's a pity. And there's more enemies over that way. Uh, so let's move over here. You see line of sight moving as they do. Oh, there's some down there. And we're going to harvest this. That's going to cost one AP. And then we can move the rest of the way over here. We'll grab this one, then that one, and then finally go over there, I guess. So, let's use our chainsword to finish them off. And over here, do I want to start using... Okay, I can't start using my flagstorm grenade launcher with him. They're too close. Too close to our enemies. Not for these aggressors, though. Excellent. Well, you better be. I brought you all the way out here. You better be ready. We are the lords of the assault doctrine. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem. Come on. Death to the Xenos swarm. There we go. Move you up as well. And you. Just get everyone moved up. On my own. Oh, did they all die? Oh, they all died. Oh. Bless them. Forward. They tried. Okay, let's keep moving up. Because we do want to move quickly, because reinforcements do keep coming in. I don't know if there's a limit, actually, to how many uh, reinforcements can show up or not. I think it might go infinitely while there are still objectives left. In most missions, anyway. That seemed to be the case in my previous uh, experience of this game. Wonderful. Also, I did uh, try playing this game on maximum difficulty. And on this level, it basically just bogged me down with what felt like infinite reinforcements forever. Uh, I finally completed the objectives and it said, Okay, finish off the Tyranids. 17 remaining. Like, oh great, 17 units left. And by then I was already... Like, ev all of my units were injured and battered. It was, it was mad. Um, so yeah, if you want a big challenge, this game can definitely offer you a big challenge. Maybe a little too big. Oh, really? There's cover there? It still says to hit 95% though. So screw it. That'll do. Wipes out the entire unit. Nice. A lot of momentum too. Uh, where is my momentum meter? There it is. Down here. So once this fills up, we'll be able to do uh, special effects. It can take a long time to fill those up, I found though. I don't know the best way to like get it quickly yet. Besides killing stuff, I guess. Only 65% chance to hit there. Not as good, but... It was good enough, apparently. Uh, ah, good. We can reach there. And harvest in the same turn. Excellent. Uh, you can't really move, so I guess I'll just keep you there. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll jump over here. Don't need to be over here now. I feel like maybe not. I think I'll just wait. I wish this guy could jump jet. So you can harvest that. I guess everyone else just um, scooch. <laughs> just do some scooching. So I do like that when you end the turn there is a overwatch uh, all button. And they'll just all overwatch. 
like the direction they're facing. Let's go, yeah, brilliant, and then comes in range. It's better to fine tune it if you are relying on Overwatch, but it just means that if you can't be bothered every single turn to Overwatch absolutely everyone just in case someone walks around a corner or something, um, it'll just get it over with, basically, which I really, really appreciate. All right, how far can you get? Oh, I can't quite get there. Go where I am Gutted. Moving. All right, you lot, get over there. We are the yeah, split you guys up a bit. Uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe you go that way too. Uh, you guys, I guess go there. And I can jump jet wherever I need them to jump jet to. That'll do. Everyone overwatch. And okay, these guys, I don't like. I don't like them much at all. And you see what I mean? The overwatch is like max range. So we're not going to have the best accuracy at that distance, so you better overwatch, like, manually a little closer. But of course, if you do it too close, over a big expanse like this, then something might just stand outside the range and shoot you. So, you know. So yeah, these guys, what are they called? Venomthropes? Is that right? I can't tell remember. I'll have to click on them when it's um, my turn. I can actually look at them. But uh, this sort of acid thing, this weird uh, goop that they put down, if you stand in that, you take additional damage. So it's... It's pretty bad. It just increases the damage of anyone in it, which is not good. Not good at all. And yeah, a lot of enemies just showing up now. An awful lot of enemies. We did put reinforcements to high, though. So, kind of no surprise. Oh, I would like to use a grenade launcher. That would be fun. Do some damage to these termigants. But I feel like I'd probably just shoot them. You know what? No, these guys are going to pounce on me and I don't like it. Let's blow them up. Marvellous. Did all of you survive? Not that marvellous then. <laughs> you cheeky swine. Alright, let's grab that. And yeah, our aggressor is going to take some mad damage against these guys, I think. 60% chance to hit. I doubt we'll kill any. And we'll have no overwatch, so we'll take full damage from these. Actually, we won't, because the, the aggressors have pistol overwatch. And we did kill one of those. That's good news. And I guess you can shoot, but it's not great, is it? So let's go a bit closer so you get slightly more accuracy. It's not going to be wonderful, but it will suffice. Mostly because it's got to. Okay, you lot move up. You lot move up. You lot move up. And you lot move up. So, uh, Brother Ortodo... Should probably run over this way. But I'm quite tempted to leave him overwatch as well. Oh, he's not going to be in good range there, though. Okay, in that case, he can start moving. And these guys can start falling back next turn. As long as they leave the aggressors sort of in the front, they can take a few hits. They have a lot more health than any of our other units. Considerably more. More than double what the assault squad do. There are fewer units, though. So I guess they don't split out the damage quite as much. But anyway, they've got a lot of health. And they can retaliate. They have a pistol overwatch. They can do a pretty good amount of damage when they get attacked. So I'll just leave them in the front and hopefully it'll all work out. 50% uh, chance to hit. Not great. But not terrible. Not terrible. Did okay. And they're out of range. Okay, cool. Just overwatch as best you can, I guess. On ball four, I was and you. Oh, we have tactical precision as well. This is the thing we unlocked. So this we can give to someone using one of his AP, and it'll actually increase their uh, melee ranged um, accuracy and their armor piercing as well. So it's quite handy, and I guess I could give it to my aggressors. We can do this quite often, and this guy isn't using any more of his AP, so it works out quite well. All right, now what are you going to do? Get shot and die, hopefully. I doubt the pistols will get him, though. Oh, damn, we did get one. Okay, that's great news. And the pistol overwatch doesn't trigger. But they did get the counterattack. I'm not entirely sure what um, determines when you can do, like, pistol overwatch or when you can do attacks or whatever. I'm not entirely sure whatever it hinges on. Did you really need to just muck up that place? Did you really have to do that? These guys are probably going to run in, which will be a pain. They're probably going to attack. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, here we go. Okay, pistol reaction attack. I guess it depends on the unit. I guess some don't trigger that, some do. I'm not sure what trait yet, but I'm sure we'll work it out as we play. It wasn't something I picked up on in the sort of previous demo builds either. 
though. I'm sure the information's there. Wow, very nice. Took some damage, but that's okay. That went okay. Happy with that. Yep, yep, that sounds about right. We did put reinforcements on high, didn't we? <laughs> Still. This feels like, uh, this feels like fighting the Tyranid. You know, Tyranids are, uh, many. And have many, many spiky, vicious teeth. Okay, you're gonna have to keep moving. 30% chance to hit, and 38% chance to hit. That's not very good. I'm not gonna lie, it's not great. Not quite sure what that flashing was there. Don't worry about it. Um, let's have you jump jet down here. Your fury better be fast. Yeah, we can't reach the point full cover. But, I can start chopping these guys up. Very nice. So yeah, this should finish him off. Nice. So, they're dealt with. Now we just need to um, take this. Which, we can't with Carly on. We need to wait for this guy to get over there. Shouldn't take too long. And then once we do that, we need to finish off all of our enemies. Ah, oh, I wish we could just jump down there, but uh, that's not a thing. So, I guess I don't have much choice but to just sort of shoot what I can. Because I do need these dead before I can back off or I get a uh, counterattack. Although, as long as I can just pull back so this becomes the new front line, they only have one space that they can move into. Although that looks like a space that people can move into with this. Maybe that only applies to flying units, I don't know. But, um, yeah, if we move back a bit, we should be okay. So, let's shoot them. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So close. Now I feel like I'm wasting this shot, but... It stops them getting attacked. Uh, what do I want to just run as far away as I can? I definitely do want to do that. That's <laughs> whether I should or not. That's the uh, that's the argument. So I don't want to stand here uh, because Tyranids have a special thing where if they run in a straight line, they can charge. I think it's additional spaces basically, um, and really mess you up. So we're just going to move to here. Unfortunately, we ran away with Brother Ortero, but Brother Ortero does have a healing ability of heal thy brother, which is again ruddy nice. So, very close range Overwatch. Because I don't really mind about getting shot. These guys don't do much damage. It's these guys getting to melee that I want to be able to get extra damage into. See if I can kill any before I get attacked. So, this should do it. Yeah. Uh, Alright, this will have to do. We did get poisoned as well. I forgot about that. Those, uh... I want to say Venomthropes again, although I never checked their name. The big... These big... Swirly whirly boys. These big old dudes. They poison you when they attack you. So if you get hit in melee by them, you're going to get poisoned. So here's the Overwatch. That's a huge amount of crits, so we somehow didn't even kill one. This is going to sting. And somehow Retaliation missed every single hit. That is so disappointing. I think we'll be okay, though. Yeah, we should survive. We should survive. We've got pretty good armor. These guys don't have a lot of armor piercing. This is intense. Okay, more coming. It's when the camera's not moving, I just know that there's like stuff moving that I can't see. And that is really disconcerting. So, well I think I should have again by now. Nope, not quite. How about you? Alright, give me a give me a toolbar. Oh. 90% chance to hit these jerks. Wonderful. I really like aggressors. They have so much utility. I mean, look at that. Just to be able to do that from a distance like this is absolutely tremendous. Okay, let's move you all up. And you can go as far down as you possibly can. And next turn, we should be able to grab that, and that'll just be a case of finishing off the enemy. Hopefully, this will divert some this way. Hopefully. But yeah, we're definitely injured here. And 
Yeah, I think we're going to have to attack with all three and then run. So, you can start. Good, good. You know, not bad. Close uh, I could run into close combat with them and try and attack. I feel like the retaliation might be a little steep, though. But, uh, I think we might have to. I mean, I can, I can just punch them. But I have three attacks and we need four. We need two on each to kill them, basically. Which is a problem. 40% chance to hit. If I move a little bit further forward, maybe I can get better odds and that might be enough. 55% chance. That wasn't... It wasn't enough. I'm poisoned too, so we could lose models from here. But as long as the whole unit doesn't get wiped out, I think we're fine. Uh, it doesn't seem that fine, does it? Alright. Let's see. Can we just run away? This will... This will end up with an attack of opportunity. Uh, but maybe we'll be fine. Go away. Ow. We survived. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. Jeez. Oh, you're going to move there, right? Cool. In that case, you're the one taking the brunt of the fire. Sorry, guys. Uh, good old blood blades. Alright, you're all good. You know what? You need to move to there. You need to move a little bit further down. Okay, good. Everyone ever watch? Poison is... Oh, poison killed one. Oh, they're running back. Interesting. Alright. Thank god they're not shooting my aggressors. My poor aggressors. The enemy thinks it can stay beyond our reach. Alright. I feel like they have too many units to be able to figure out where to go. Which is something I thought may happen by putting reinforcements on high. Even with their apparently high intellect, you know, I did put their AI up to hardest. Um, they do seem a little indecisive just from the narrow pathways that they can't find an in for, you know? God, they just keep coming. The enemy waits for us. They're not waiting, mate. They're not waiting. They're, they're coming. So yeah, you need to keep moving. Uh, not poisoned anymore, thank god. Not poisoned anymore. I wonder, this is actually the next tile. Do you think I can actually use my heal from here to there? That would be pretty funny. That is the last of the protonoids that I can gather here. <laughs> Your assistance has been noted, Sergeant. Nice. <laughs> the answer to that was apparently yes. How great is that? It's amazing. Okay, uh... What used your action points, though? Does getting healed use your action points now? Or did I... It was it movement that I moved too far. And I moved using a red. Might have been. Might have been. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, uh... Probably should do something about all these monsters, huh? Maybe? So, 63% is not great. So these are all... Oh, those aren't. I was going to say, these are all missile units, right? But no, those aren't. So I don't want to get in range of those. Or these. Or any of the others. Okay, in that case, I guess just shoot them. That's fine. We're going we're gonna to run the hell away. We're going to run the hell away is what we're going to do. Yeah, nice one. I mean, not really, but <laughs> it'll do. You can shoot them now. So that's a few more dead termagants. You can turn around. So hormigants and termagants. And yeah, let's check these now. Venomthropes. It is venomthropes. Good. And yeah, you've used all your actions. Uh, I guess you can shimmy this way now, right? That works. Good. Uh, they're out of range by the looks of it, but you can shoot. Oh, no, you can't. Let's, let's just... Let's just overwatch. I think that's probably... Probably safer. That'll do. Oh, these guys could come in as well and be a bit scary. I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. 
Okay, a lot of Overwatch happening over here. These guys still don't know what's going on. There's still 12 remaining Tyranids, which isn't too, too bad. Oh, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can see 10 of them, so... Oh, and one's dead now. So, not too bad. Now, please finish these guys off. I don't know how you're going to, but... You could just try real hard. Oh, good, they used all their movement. This is a problem, though. Starting to flank us a bit. Our attempt to flank them led us... Oh, woof. Yeah, our attempt to flank them led to us being flanked. Oh, stop it. Now you're just being a pain. Aw, <laughs> just one on his own. Poor little guy. Yeah, they're a little indecisive. Alright, come on. Get a move on, eh? Oh, I mean, I can skip, actually. That's actually nice. That's nice as a feature. I don't think this is in the previous, uh, previous build. Okay. So, I've got these guys now. You can move up. Uh, Victory for the blood blades. Victory for Skyfall. Wonderful. You can just run in and start chopping away at these, alright? And yes, you're stood in poo. That's the standing in poo noise. Alright, good. Is my armor. Ow. Well, your contempt armor wasn't particularly we'll effective there, mate. Uh, I mean, these guys I can bludgeon to death, so Crush I'm going to. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And none of these guys get straight line to me, so they can't do their ultra mega charge or whatever. It's definitely what it's called. Slight cover, but... Should help. Not bad, not bad. Uh, so 52 is the most healthy. Let's let's see if we can't get it with the assault squad. Otherwise, what, what do we even have an assault squad for? To get murdered, apparently. Well, that's embarrassing. There we go. Everybody's poisoned, because of course they are. Uh, let's back up. Let's back up. That's still in the toxic thing, which no one likes. Uh, you... Oh, you can't quite get there. Victory for the blood and you can't move any further. Victory oh, that is so disappointing. So yeah, we can't heal him, sadly. We are the walls. We are the guns. Okay, something... Like that, that's fine. Of flows in my veins. All right, you move here, my and we'll heal these aggressors, okay? The aggressors are definitely the our main boys over here. I do need to deal with them as well. Uh, I guess you can run down this way. You guys can jump jet to there, and you run for your life. Alright, that's not going to do much, but it'll do more than nothing. Um, right, now let's heal you. And I think that'll be it. Good. More poison. Ow. More poison. Don't like poison. I don't like these, these venom throats. That damage really does add up. Really does. And uh, we can speed up again. Or just skip. Wow, yeah, they really... They really go for it when you put them on skip, huh? That's fine. That I'm totally fine with. Yep. So one thing you do need to consider as well. Uh, I mentioned it earlier with the enemies. It's the same with us. If your model count begins to drop, then that unit has become less effective. Because it'll have fewer attacks, because there are fewer you know, models in a unit, so you do have to be careful of that. Like these guys, they'll be able to run up here, and they've got their little, you know, frag grenade bombardment thingy, and it's not going to do as much damage as uh, as the other guys would have. Still does some good damage, because each grenade hits everyone in the unit, which is pretty sick, but it's, uh, it's not going to do as much. Are these all termigants? They are. Ah, huh. all the hormigants are stuck in the back. That's perfect. Okay. So, 95% chance to hit. So good, good odds, I suppose. Excellent. And how about you lot? Do you, oh my god, you do have that too, huh? Okay, so I'm quite tempted to hit them. They're miles away, but 
And I've got a bigger fr like fish to fry, but it's just so satisfying. <laughs> Clever? No. Satisfying. Yeah. Uh-huh. Very. Truly. We are the sons of uh, not great odds to hit, but good enough. We are the blood blades of Skyfall. Everyone says that, though. Blood blades of Skyfall. Everyone's called themselves that nowadays. When the day is darkest, we okay, through control. you can get healed. And we are going to head down here. Because we're now still in the goop. Alright, maybe I don't want to be there. With haste. Let's go here instead. They won't be in melee, but these guys will be blocking. It's fine. But, uh, yeah, I want to make sure I'm in range of these guys. So if they try and run away, I get three hits on them. I think that'll be quite beneficial. Also, we have the red thirst here. So we can empower or surge. Surge gives us an additional... Uh, point of momentum, which is pretty cool. I wouldn't mind that. Of Obviously, course. our abilities still have their own cooldown, so another ability point doesn't necessarily we can use, you know, whatever ability we want. We can't use Heal Thy Brother a second time, for instance, but we would be able to use our Chainsaw a second time. Or a pistol. Or use that AP to move one more space. You know, there's, there's options. So, now that we've done that, I think I think maybe I do want to finish these guys off, actually. So, let's surge. His blood so, we used me. our momentum, our red thirst there, and it's given us an additional action point. How fun is that? Well, there we go. Now they're dead. And I'm going to move them up. Good. Oh, and Carleon's actually got an additional attack, too. So we will be taking additional damage standing there, but there's now nothing really nearby, so I'm quite happy just to threaten them and, you know. Oh, I could actually jump Jet away, but I kind of want to get the free hit on them. Uh, although... Uh, hmm, okay. Uh, it will do extra poison damage to us. Does that mean... Oh, it's just toxic presence. Okay, he doesn't actually have poison on him. So maybe that's okay. Maybe I'll be fine there. I'll stick it out. It's fine. Although here... Oh, I can't jump jet yet, but I can just run up to them. Uh, they will definitely completely murder me, though, so never mind. Let's just do that. Have you all done things? Yes. Uh, ugh. Nope, I don't want to stand there. I will get murdered to bits. Let's just stand here. Maybe we will get an Overwatch. Whoops. Maybe we'll get an Overwatch, maybe we won't. And everyone else can Overwatch. I don't know who else wasn't Overwatched, but someone, apparently. Still ten Tyranid units remaining. Uh, still quite a few. Oh, and they are getting some shots in. They're hitting all the ones with full health, though, which is disappointing. Pistol reaction should do well here, though. Yeah, killed a few. Not bad, not bad. Took some damage, but... Yeah, not so much that we have to worry. Okay, come on, boys. You done? Pistol reaction attack. Wow, that is satisfying. That is so satisfying. One shot, one kill for each of them. That is so good. Just one bullet each. That was just tremendous. I like Carleon. He's a good boy. That guy, on his own, full health, like a champ. Yeah, that that's something you guys need to get used to, mate. Okay, let's carry on chopping. Chop, chop. Nice. Let's try that again. Ah, more hormigans there. That could be a problem. They're definitely going to be a problem. Alright, intercessors. Let's move you up. And not great odds to hit, actually, there. 65%. 65% chance to hit them, too. So I may as well go for them. Good. You notice I'm whittling down the numbers of each, so no individual uh, unit can do sort of maximum damage to me, you know? 40%, 70%. Oh, I feel like I probably should kill them now, huh? Ready to strike. Probably. No, maybe I can do it with them. Ooh, maybe I can. Nice. And then you can shoot them, I suppose. 
Not great odds of 40%, but it's good enough. Good. Uh, Alright, let's get you out of the way. I don't want to be in direct line of fire there. You've already moved a couple times. I can empower him, though. And there's no splodge down there anymore, so I don't have to worry about... Oh! Whoops. This was silly of me. There's something you got to watch out for. Luckily, we didn't get hit, but... Because I moved into their area of influence, and then I moved again, you get hit. You know, you get attacked. So that's something you need to be careful of. Because a lot of games, uh, as long as you move into their area of influence and you just stay in their area of influence, that doesn't matter. Um, but any time you are in their, like, a you know, a neighbouring uh, square, that is enough that if you move out of that, no matter which square you move into, that's a thing. So, got to be mindful of it. Uh, oh, right, yeah, I need to surge first. Like, why can't I do anything? He's got no action points. <laughs> can't do anything because, of course, he can't. The blood waits. So, I can heal, but I'm not going to, because I can just murder them and nothing else is really a threat. So, um, yeah, I'll just keep killing. Keep on killing. Bye. Alright, it's still going a little bit, but good enough. Uh, I forgot I had these guys up here still. <laughs> Whoops. They could have probably helped. It's fine, we're doing good. Alright, that'll do it. And let's uh, let's go maximum speed. Because I find it funny watching them dart around like that. Oh, good for you. Actually getting a kill. That's how it's done, though. Well. Well, you got one of them. Not bad. Pew, 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 pew. I do like that it slows down for the animations. So getting shot and things, like, it registers that. You just don't have to worry about watching them all roam around. So, actually, it's a really nice way that it's sped it up. It doesn't it doesn't mean you lose any information. Because a lot of games that have a way to sort of speed up um, the game like that, you often end up just losing a bunch of the information that you need to sort of focus on. Uh, there's still going to be some stuff lost, I guess, because something might move out of line of sight without you noticing, and then next turn might run out again, and you've not left yourself prepared, but... You know... <laughs> Okay, let's shoot them. My duty serves. Okay, good. With the day's darkest, we prevail through control. I have many. Still three. So there's those two and another one somewhere. We are the lords of the assault doctrine. Okay. Keep moving up, everybody. Have you got your grenades back? I need to check. Guys, keep running. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Soon. Yeah, that's all of them. Uh, so, I don't really want to stand next to the Helmigans, honestly. So that'll do. That'll do. I'll just overwatch. Alright, they're all coming over here, which is great. They're coming straight towards all of my uh, chainswords. I was saying, my heroes are pretty good with chainswords. Wow, I already just messed up that one guy, huh? Yeah, that's all fine. And pistol reaction. So you'll notice it also said suppressed, minus one movement. So what that does uh, is basically if things are running towards you and you overwatch, you can tire out their movement. So it'll just stop them from being able to actually reach you, which is nice. So that is one way that a distant overwatch is actually sometimes preferable to aiming really sort of like at your optimum range because sometimes you just want to slow down the enemy so you know and have them slow down further away from you so you can buy yourself more time or space to maneuver or you know avoid them getting into melee range in the first place so it's kind of cool there are a lot of there's a lot of thought gone into it just to make sure that there's actually pros and cons to basically every action which is really how these games should function you know but amazingly there's a lot that don't function that way Oh yeah, perfect. And here come the frag grenades. Oh, didn't get the kills, sadly. But these guys can. And that should be it. And that should be it. Let's, uh... I was going to say, let's watch it in photo mode, but it doesn't actually play when you're in photo mode. Um, so it doesn't really matter. 
Hang on, which, which is the one to save the screenshot? Return. Of course it is. There we go. Isn't that view? I don't think you can do that. Oh, where did it take me? It took me very, very far away then. Oh, he didn't have any movement. That's why he wasn't doing it. Also, because I paused the game. Oh. Captain Matano. You found the rank, brother. Use it. But these council meetings are a swift reminder of how unqualified the title feels. Pray distract me from all this talk of logistics and recovery. Give me your assessment of the Primaris. Ah, uh, they're still courting beautiful Balfora. Plenty of corns remain for them to stretch their muscles. They've just finished intervening on behalf of Brother Aturo, in fact. The priest! I sent it with Pentasio to clear the Xenos pools west of the flats. Where is the sergeant? Dead, along with his men. Sergeant Pentasio insisted I retreat from the alien pools with the few progenoids I had, right before his own throat was crushed. There was a foul presence among the alien towers. Show me. Take me to where you left Pentasio to die, priest. You will recover our brother's remaining gene seat, despite whatever you think lurks within those festering pits. Well, all right then. We're off to go find some more gene seeds. Lovely. Uh, so one thing I really like as well, it gives you a nice breakdown of uh, melee kills, your melee accuracy, ranged kills and ranged accuracy. So you can get a good idea of how everyone performed, which I like. I like that a lot. It would be nice if it recorded damage, but, you know, it'll do. It'll do. Also, it tells you how many abilities you've used on each of you guys as well, which is kind of cool. It's a fun little little thing, keeps track of all that stuff. Also, we got three more skill points. We have four now, so in total, so we should have plenty to spend. So, deployment capacity increased. So, these little updates are kind of nice, because you go back to army management, and uh, it lets us know that there's more that we can, uh, we can field. No better range of units, but let's get some more aggressors. Vigilant. Always interrupting. And uh, we'll also get some more intercessors because they're much quieter. And let's go to the HQ upgrade. And you'll notice we can actually upgrade a brother Ortero as well. So Righteous Exhortation. Affects all, uh, all allies within a range of one tile. Uh, gives plus 25% melee damage, which is quite handy to be able to augment people like that. Uh, Hail of Fire is very, very nice. I really like that ability. That's for our aggressors. So, that, although we're equipping, you know, this guy, we're getting it on Brother Rotero's skill tree, it augments our units, which I think is really, really cool. So, this lad, let's see, Battle Line Tactics helps our intercessors, gives them additional uh, range stability, range damage, and basic melee damage received goes up as a result of it, which obviously isn't great, but, you know, extra range damage is nice. Assault Cannon Strafe, so this is... This is a cool one that I haven't really played about with too much. Um, but, yeah, getting getting extra damage in, just cooling it out. We, we summoned in a Storm Raven to do, like, an airstrike, which is kind of cool. Uh, so there's some good stuff here that I'd like. Let's go ahead with Assault Cannon Strafe, because that sounds like a laugh. Born, and should the Emperor win it on Balfora, I will die. All right, cool. And uh, let's get Righteous Exhortation as well, even though it's not particularly interesting. Uh, just a little melee damage buff. It's, you know, it's fine. And now it means we can get uh, some other stuff next turn. That's interesting. Plus 5 HP per model for all of our Primaris infantry, which I think is most of our infantry, actually. So I confirm all that. We have one more skill point left for next time. So uh, this episode I'm going to do um, at least one more mission, because I want it to be a nice long one. It is regrettable that Brother Aturo presented himself from a position of weakness. That is far different than how a blood angel is typically introduced to the sanguinary priesthood. I must hope the first impression is not lasting on these Primaris. In fairness, Brother Aturo's disregard of our new brothers does himself no justice either. He overlooks their potential and sees only vat-grown test subjects with no worldly experience. I understand the root of the priest's skepticism. 
A century ago, I also would not have claimed any brother who had not supped from the blood chalices. But a century ago, I would not have believed that I would see us rescued from the brink of extinction. By Primarch Gilliman, no less. Brother Aturo's concern is that I would throw us headlong into death as some sort of penance for this guilt that weighs me. I am honor-bound to avenge my company, brother. But I know that we must act pragmatically. Pentasio had the skill and experience of a dozen full-blooded assault marines with him when he was bested. We will take this opportunity to retrace Brother Aturo's footsteps and rearm ourselves prior to breaching the infestation site. There are few problems that cannot be solved with a plasma weapon, in my experience. Which is handy, because we're going to unlock Hellblasters that have plasma weapons, uh, so that's good. And also land speeders, which is fun. Uh, we are going to be able to see those this mission. So, Lord Commander Dante intends to swell the ranks of the 10th Scout Company with an unprecedented number of new recruits, but for now the only reinforcements available to rebuild the chapter are the new Primaris that disembarked from Arch, uh, Archmajos Cool's uh, Freighter Hulk. Following Leviathan's invasion, High Priest Brother uh, Carbulo, I guess? Corbulo? Good enough has led the sanguinary priesthood through the morbid task of recovering the progenoid glands of every battle brother who lost their life defending Holy Baal. Brother Ortero's continuation of this work on Baal Secundus is vital for the continuation of the Blood Angels and its successor chapters that fought here. This munitions bunker is on the way to the uh, Xenos Reclamation Zone, where Arturo lost contact with Sergeant Pentasio. Although the weaponry at this bunker is no danger of being stolen by the guileless Tyranids, the ammunition stores will allow Carleon to support the, uh, to call for support from the new Hellblaster units waiting on Baal. Wonderful. We scattered remains have little left to recover. I doubt there is much here I can harvest. This is more than mere execution. The alien will suffer for this butchery. Well, all right. So we are 55 over the limit. We're always over the limit. Uh, let's get rid of a intercessor. Because again, I, I get the least work done with them, honestly. Uh, actually, I'll probably get the least work done with the assault squads. I find them very flimsy. Very flimsy indeed. However, with uh, Brother Ortero able to augment um, our... Uh, melee damage now? I think actually they might be really ruddy good now. If I could just have a bunch of them hang out with Orturo. You know, he can use that ability. They can jump dirt over, murder a bunch of stuff, and then come back uh, in time for dinner. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? I think so. God, do I want you all the way back there? We are going to get attacked from behind. Spoilers. So, uh, that'll do. Sanguinius watches over us. That'll do. Heavy fire support! And let's kick Feed off. Their numbers. They will not overwhelm us. My thoughts exactly. Uh, okay, I can't reach those because I'm too close. <laughs> let's let's see if we can get them now. Good. All right, they all died. Perfect. We are the lords of the assault doctrine. That's uh, quite the boast, isn't it? Always ready, always vigilant. Always. So they keep telling me. They're always ready to tell me, so... I guess it makes sense. Oh, yep, yeah, you too. Yeah, that'll do. Nice. Yeah, that'll do, eh? Battle line squad ready. Very nice. Your orders. Of course. Roger that. Good progress. All right. Ten to ten. Oh, hang on. That'll be later. Sorry. Spoilers. I await their mistake. All right. More enemies down here. And down here. And up here. All right, here they come. Sergeant, Captain Matano said we could find you here. We've been sent to help with your recovery. The aid is welcome, but 
do not wish to needlessly add to the bodies here. Landspeeder crew awaiting orders. So we got a couple of landspeeder crews now. Got it. Who's the guy from um Who's the guy from Children of Men? Lining up anti swarm firing solution. Nice. Definitely an anti swarm thing. Anyway, this guy these guys sound like the guy from Children of Men. Anti grav ready. Uh he was also in uh is he in Sin City as well, I think? Been a few things. Anyway, these guys are a little flimsy, by the way, the land speeders. They're not the sturdiest things in the world, but they are very fast. Yes, yes. So, uh, the fact that you can move, shoot, and then move makes land speeders really, really good. Because you can move into range of the enemy and be out of it by the end of your turn. So, it's, it's really good. So, there are going to be more coming this way. So, let's poke ahead over. Wonderful. Perfect. Oh, 25% chance to hit. That's woeful. How is it that bad? I mean, they're right there. I feel like that's a pretty direct line of sight. Oh, well. I feel like these things are more important to get damage into than uh, most others. Most other units. Well, I mean, that's what you're for. Fighting and dying. It's really... Really your purpose. The world of, you know, I, well, I say the world, the universe of 40k, uh, it sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. It's the worst. And, you know what? I'm just going to let it auto overwatch. So he's going to be caught behind all the others, which is good. And he's going to waste his movement going back and forth. And then he's going to do his business. At least he's doing it outside. No, not bad. Nice. Good. Alright, next units. Alright, we're getting the damage in. Oh. It's over there. Fine. That's fine. We can we can heal him up. Nice. Oof. That's gonna add up. Okay, I got more enemies behind us. You know, there should be enemies actually behind us coming over this bridge, I believe. So at some point we will have to turn it back and deal with those. But not today. Not today. With haste. Okay. So, first off, heal thy Your brother. And Do I guess you can falter. take some pot shots. Your and Death I guess you guys can just start blasting, because, you know, you can. Uh, although maybe I don't want to do that, because of those guys. Uh, huh. Let's see. Sky, this should give me a ludicrous amount of movement left to like run up this way with. Although something might come down this slope, which is oh, it's fine. I gotta make use of these assault squads. Okay, let's get you down here, and you lot over here. Really, didn't kill him? We are the sons of Sanguinius. Madness. All right. Um. Shoot them. The blood of Sanguinius flows in my veins. And God, please, please guns. kill them. Pathetic. All right, you can run off. On our way. Oh, good. They're, of course, they're not melee unit. I'm being an idiot. Anyway, everyone else can just Overwatch. Oh no, I forgot to move the them. Whoops. I totally forgot to move our land speeders. Very silly me. That didn't do much. I get some damage in there. I'm surprised they're not getting suppressed. I was kind of hoping they'd get suppressed. Oh, maybe they did. Alright, more enemies coming from here now. Nope, they are. Running off, seemingly. Ow. 
rude. Okay, that'll do. Um, that you do. Okay, you know what? Let's do the land speeders now. I'm not going to forget to move all these guys. That'd be ridiculous. So, let's move you up to... I guess just to here. Let's move them up a bit at a time. Because I can move them again and again. Ah, here we are. Alright, now, let's just overwatch to here. Like so. Good. Now, let's shoot them. I was actually going to attack them in melee, but that's fine. Then, you probably don't want to get poisoned, huh? It's just a hunch. You don't want to get poisoned. 25% chance to hit. Alright, how about if I move down there? Is that going to be better? 40%. I mean, yeah. It is better. It's not very good. Not very good. I am not proud of you. 6% chance. Hey, good. Good. Good stuff. Very nice. Proud of you. Proud of you. Yeah, you lot. Move around that way. Uh, yep, 40% chance. Come on, boys. Good. Well, you should be ready, because uh, you're about to do some murdering. Go get him, lad. I mean, there's a lot of staining. Like, that is never going to come out. No chance. I go where I am needed. Uh, I guess you can run over there, too. And, uh... Yeah, you can go over there with strength, I guess. I mean, however, really. Oh, well, that's no fun. I don't like that much. Everyone can overwatch. Wow. That was a whole heap of damage. Was that a whole unit as well? How come there's only one? Oh, the other two ran off ahead. Nice. Really, mate? 15 damage? That's embarrassing. Oh, well, he just wet himself, so I guess that's more embarrassing. What are you guys going to do? Oh, j come on. Leave him alone. He's only a librarian. He's not a librarian, is he? Whatever the hell he is. I did notice that, yeah. Alright, more enemies coming from behind our land speeders. And, yep, yeah, more coming from the bridge behind us. And, yeah, plenty more coming up the slope. Being attacked from multiple angles now. I hear them out there. I can hear them too. It's a shame these turrets aren't operational. I reckon they would be a lot of help. Alright, so... Uh... Yeah, a lot of villains. A lot of villains. Awful lot of villains. Uh, shoot them, please. Thank you. Uh, you lot. Shoot them. And... The day's darkest, we prevail through control. You start butchering. And... Oh, good, they didn't retaliate. Alright, you can finish them off. And now... Uh, oh. This works. Let's blow them up. Let's blow them up. Really nice way just to wrap these up in a hurry, you know? Really satisfying, too. Every three turns we can do that. That's great. Your orders. Okay, you start chopping them up. Me. Good. And uh, then you can just use a pistol, because I always find that funny. <laughs> nice. Okay. Did you say, my vengeance will be fun? Because that would be great. Our vengeance will be fun. Oh, not bad. 75% chance to hit. Yep, that went very nicely. Well played, boys. Well played. 
Uh, let's move up a little further. Excellent. Yeah, those land speeders are wonderful. Really useful little uh, utility uh, unit there. Although, they can the blood of uh, take a lot of damage. They can take a lot of damage. Okay. That is something that they could do. Your orders. Um, I think I'll move you guys here. Because there is something behind us as well. And let's assume that everyone's going to overwatch and do it great. Alright, still enemies behind us. And behind us in a different direction. A lot of crits there, which is nice to see. Yeah, did some good damage. I think that's probably all of our overwatches, though. I think everyone else shot. Oh, more up there. Tip-tapping away. Okay. So Gwinius watches over us. I'm sure he does. Or it, I don't know. Let's shoot them. Good. We fight and we die. And let's shoot here as well. That should be a good amount of damage. And that hopefully will finish them, but it might not. Nah. It was a long shot. Nice. So their normal ranged attacks aren't the best in the world, but one thing they do have, which is uh, very fun, is later on we will be able to unlock them an ability that lets them exchange all of their movement points for further um, attacks. And so it means if you are just sort of like holding still, you can actually get like a bunch of them. Um, a bunch of additional damage in there, which is really good. We prevail through control. Okay, how are things looking? He re they really do sound like the guy from Children of Men. What is that guy's name? I just can't remember. They will regret coming this close. I hear something. Yeah, plenty more coming from all angles. Oh, there's some. Nice. We got the Overwatch. That was perfect. Other one too. Oh no, they're gonna shoot us. Yeah, that was fine. Killed one. Nice. Oh right, he overwatches per action point. That's something I hadn't really paid attention to. But yeah, so if you have two action points, you overwatch two units. Yeah, that's not so bad. We're okay. We're okay. You will need more than that. Okay, that's starting to add up a bit. <laughs> Little bit. Uh, it's alright though, we can heal him. Uh, we can heal him uh, this turn, which is nice. Let's get you up here. With strength. With strength, yes, yes. Okay. We are the walls. Now. We are the guns. I'm glad. Uh, now get punching. Bang. Nice. Does the job. Uh, yes, yes. Just, he really... It's always with the rhetoric with these guys. Your orders. But then, you know, a bunch of super fascists. Of course they're all about the rhetoric. Uh, I can't have them fly up here. That might be fun. Because again, this are, these are all of the... Missile troops. So that actually works out rather nicely. Uh, is that the only one I brought? Yeah, I only bother bringing the one because yeah. The blood of Sanguinius flows in my veins. They weren't that impressive. Okay, so you've done that now. So let's move you over to here. Just want to make sure we got as many reactions if they try and scarper as possible. You will fall Being able to just like surround Tyranids like this is a bold move. You know, Tyranids are pretty dangerous. Uh, oh, good, you can climb up here too. We are the sons of Sanguinius. I'm sure Your you orders. are. And I'm sure Daddy's very proud of you. Always ready. Okay, Always let's hit vigilant. them. And uh, you can start shooting them. We are the sons of Sanguinius. And that's where I want to be. 52% chance to hit. 
I mean, that's not great, but between both of them. Yeah, there we go. Alright, you guys move along. Oh, baddies. Some baddies there. It's alright, we'll take some damage, but not enough to bother us, I don't think. Um, I'll leave them overwatching. Alright. Still coming for us. Some plenty behind. Uh, can you not? Alright, we're good. More units are coming. I'm getting acutely aware of how little progress we've made through the Tyranids, though. And I think it's basically just down to the reinforcement numbers being so high. So the difficulty definitely seems to be making a difference. Yeah, you can punch them too. Alright. Let's get a move on, yeah? The objective's up here, by the way. That wasn't clear. I haven't really pointed to it. Okay, now we are suddenly making a lot of progress. Okay, good. Yeah, we're good. Let's push everyone up. Okay. A new lot. Uh, 65% chance to hit, huh? That's not good enough. Alright, how about now? Much better. Okay. Finish them off. Good. Excellent. And I think that'll do for the turn. Wonderful. Oh, Venom Thropes on their way. Scary blighters. Ugh. They really are horrible. I mean, look at these things. Little tentacles. Where there should be teeth. It's just creepy. They can only be victory. I mean, you say there can only be victory, but I'm pretty sure the Tyranid have other ideas. Close combat support. Just a hunch. Okay, so... We are the sons of Sanguinius. Uh, so I got my intercessors up Your here. Orders. Let's keep them down there. Landspeeder crew awaiting orders. Uh, shoot you. With all of our boys. Oh, that's terrific. And you guys can just get the heck out of dodge. Oh, there's more up there. Okay. You can get some out of dodge. <laughs> Ready for recon. That'll do. Uh, so we've got some odds of hitting them. Uh, oh. Um. I can't really get in range, can I? With them. I keep them back here, though. Got more intercessors, too, but... Yeah, let's do that. Let's line them all up. You lot are going to push on forwards. So one thing I do have to worry about is there will be reinforcements from this other side as well. As soon as I take this... So, actually leaving this many behind might not be a great idea. I await their mistake. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, more Venom Thropes. That's what I like to see in my nightmares. And there's a rock there. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, they're still moving up. Not a problem. And, oh, wow. Okay, intercessors have some mad range. Not great accuracy at 8 billion miles away, though. Bit wasteful. <laughs> now they can walk up completely unhindered. This is why you should set overwatches yourself, guys. This is why you should set them yourself. Oh, it's already okay, though. Yeah, now we can just blast them with everything. Should be fine. Alright, uh... 75% chance. Oh, some good hit chances. Didn't quite kill them all. Let's see how much damage we can do with these, because we might want to get the land speeders behind them to finish them off. Alright, 65% chance. Not as good as I'd like. It's because we're at a slight lip. 
so it's blocking line of sight slightly for the for the guys at the back of the unit. Oh, so close. Okay, intercessors. Because you can't use your uh, grenade launchers on any target in any useful capacity. Now you get line of sight over here. There's nothing else over here. Brilliant. Uh, really? Okay, finish him off, please. Thanks. I already thought there was something else in here. Like, in this area. But apparently not. And now everyone can run off over here. Your orders. Battle line squad ready. Excellent. Affirmative. Uh, yeah, Mark the bug secure. Whoops. We'll take what we need. The logisticium will catalogue the rest. I didn't mean to activate that. Alright. Let's hit with one of these. So, it's best used... Oh, wow. Okay, that did nothing. Like I can say, it's best used against, like, groups of Tyranids, but... Yeah, like, so much so that that... I take it back. It was not worth it. I was going to say, oh, but it's fine. Also, we do have command points. I always forget about these. Command points earned by the army's HQ command unit whenever a friendly unit gains momentum, is killed, or completes objective. So, we have command points, which means we have uh, this assault cannon strafe, which we will want to use when everything starts piling in through here. So, remind me, guys, using your uh, psychic um, time-traveling powers. You do have those, right? If you don't, then you're no good to me. Okay, now slow down. They didn't slow down. Not slowing down at all, guys. Yeah, some great damage into it, though. Oh, zone of control. Lovely. Nice. They got overwhelmed. I don't know what that means. But I think it's a good thing. Also, it's still so many just random units just dotted around the map. All we have to do is hold the, uh... Yeah, we have to just hold this for another turn. Like, there's nothing. Alright. Easy, mate. Easy. So yeah, I think I might actually send them back this way so we can finish off the stragglers so we don't have to wait for them to come to us. Because those guys can outrun literally everything, so they're in zero risk. So that's good. I like zero risk. Alright. So you still have that, so we can blow these guys up. Uh, more are coming over there. Nice. That's alright. Overwatch and confirm. Alright, more coming for us. Ah, good. Good. That's saving us some time. Very nice. I really do like the land speeders. Like, those heavy bolters are pretty gnarly. Those, uh, I believe, twin linked heavy bolters. Possibly. Okay, pretty good. Pretty impressive from that range to get all those crits. Very nice. That wasn't so impressive, though, mate. Okay, you killed one, though. So, no, you're not putting a terrible example, I guess. Good. I really want someone to still have some shots left before this guy turns up. Because, like, every hit would kill one there. Another overwatch. Good. But again, wrong unit. That could have killed that entire unit of Tyranids. Please, somebody, think of the children. They might shoot. Nope, those intercessors. Oh, come on. Okay, we did kill one. Oh, good, and he can kill him. We're okay. We're okay, guys. Excellent. I am the sword of Sanguinius. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Uh... Okay, so three of three. So at the end of this turn, um, we win that objective. I don't know if that's winning the level or not. I can't remember. Yeah, but how much speed? Apparently not enough. Okay, um, what's next? Shooting people, I suppose. Yeah, let's hit those guys with a uh, 
frag grenade, salvo. Yeah, frag storm grenade launcher. This should help. Nice. Helped a lot. And you guys don't do much damage, but these guys don't have much health, so have faith. Hooray! And then it's up to ten. They will fear to tread close. Okay, more Venomthropes coming. God, Intercessors have mad range. Really is impressive. Shame they don't have better accuracy, though. But then I guess I do have abilities that can augment their accuracy, so I could actually do some pretty long-range overwatches. Um, if I planned it out properly. Just stinking up the place over there. That's fine. I you do you. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of them. Okay, so now that there's a group, let's use our salvo. Let's let's use that salvo. Provided it doesn't immediately end the turn after these guys finish moving. Because usually once this is done, it says, Alright, now kill everyone. Uh, that's usually the final objective of every mission. Just like, okay, just finish them all off now. Okay, come on. Yeah, yeah, look at that, see? Kill them all now. Uh, it could just tell me to kill them all before, it's fine. So, select this. And from what angle are you going to come in from? I have no idea. I guess I'll just aim for that one. Oh, do I choose where it goes? Oh, hang on. Ah. Let's start that again. Uh... Fires 36 times per tile for four tiles in a line. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five? Maybe it doesn't reach that far. Okay, I can go from there to there. I'm very confused. Wait, right mouse to select tile. Left mouse to... to on an empty tile to cancel. Oh, okay. So, that one, and that one. Uh, I don't think it'll hit that guy, but it'll hit three of them, that's fine. Oh, that's sick. Really cool. Okay, good. A bit finicky to use, but it killed stuff. What more can you ask for, you know? Yep. He keeps saying that. Keep saying it. Yeah, I want to blow them up. Uh, okay, you lot. Let's get you in a little closer. Because all these guys could have come in a lot closer. Some time ago, but... What would have been the fun in that? Yeah, I'm not going to use that ability on them. I think maybe I do just want to get stuck into melee now. Sounds like a lot of fun. On my honor. I mean, additional damage we could take here, and there are a lot of creatures back here. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh. You will fall before yeah, good. Me. You can start shooting. And you can start shooting. You're so far away, you might as well, right? Oh, come on. Oh, really? Didn't quite get the kill. It's depressing. Okay. Let's get this salvo over here. Start whittling down the ones in the back. Can only be and I know we're, you know, in a bit of an iffy spot. Oh, and we don't have any actions left. Okay, quite an iffy spot then. Truly. Ugh. Squad ready. Okay, what have we got? You can Always use an action, ready. and you Always can use an action. Oh yeah, I was going to have him bludgeon this guy to death, so... Or bludgeon someone to death. He's going to attempt it. Crush the oh, you get. The uh, you can back off. Oh, hang on. Wait, you haven't used your... Close I'm an idiot. They actually have action points I could have used. That was silly. I was thinking I attacked with the, their chainsaw. It was actually Carleon's chainsaw that I was using. Okay, well... That's not great odds to hit. I might be able to kill one, though. The blood waits. Uh, again, pretty iffy odds. Let's go see what you lot are doing. Got it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything for them to attack. Oh, there's more venom tropes down there. I guess that's the one that got away. All right, you start shooting him then. 
And I guess you can shoot too. And... Oh, I don't know. You give it a go as well. Nice, you got one. Alright, get the next one. There we go. Perfect. You did the job. He's a good boy. Alright, let's crack on. Oh, well, don't be poisoned. They're gonna get very, very hurt. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. They're gonna be very, very hurt. And possibly them too. Oh no, they're using more AP to move forwards rather than pooing on the ground. Oh, not bad. Oh, they got overwhelmed and beaten to death. Brilliant. Now it's just these uh, these boys that aren't as big a threat. Well, it's these boys and that one other venom throat, venom throat that just wandered into our midst. But yeah, this is all we got left. Pistol reaction shot, excellent. Thank God for that. God, aggressors are really good. Very good units. Oh no, they are melting a little bit. You're gonna do the same, aren't you? We might lose one. I'd be quite surprised if we didn't. Yeah, we lost one. That's fine. Doesn't make any difference. Uh, I mean, it, it does for the rest of this, obviously, because I can't attack with all three of them, but, you know, generally it's fine. So, start shooting that Venom Throat. You can start shooting him too. Oh, and he's got his Salvo as well. That'd be quite good. Alright, you attack. You guys. Keep moving. You're not going to be able to see a thing, which is a shame, but... Worth a try. Uh... Let's see, you haven't shot yet, so I suppose you can finish them off. You can push in over here. You can push in over here. Everybody stood in very questionable goop. Okay, you start pushing up. Let's get another melee attack in here, I guess on these ones. Uh, oh, you lot can attack too. Oh, wonderful. Okay, let's um, let's attack them first. Nice. Let's push you up. Okay, let's push all these guys up too. Uh, I guess I'm just going to shoot them. Please kill them. We didn't kill them. Never mind. I guess I'll just leave them there. Uh, we do have more command points. No, we don't. We can't use this once, can we? Not enough action points. Oh, we need AP to use it. Oh. Oh. There you go. Nice. So, let's do that. And then... Oh, that's not quite going to work. Oh, I can't go across there. Brilliant. There we go. Oh, isn't that terrific? Oh, I like him. He can stay. Yeah, he can stay. Uh, okay, I think that's it. If it isn't, it'll overwatch, and that's fine. Pistol reaction shot should finish them off. Nice. And zone of control, which is the last one. As you anticipated, there's little of our brothers here to recover. We pray the Pentasio's gene seed remains undefiled. It is grim work you undertake, priest. It is not a task that I relish. The scale of our chore makes for comfortless service. In some ways, I'm glad I've been relegated to this moon, where the bodies of our brothers are only stacked by the dozen. Wonderful. So, we got a bunch of tokens there. We got five in total. So we have to do a bunch of upgrades, get more ridiculous nonsense like uh, artillery strikes and whatever else. Um, should be fun. So, can't wait. Alright, next up is going to be Reclamation Zone. But first, new units are available. So if we go to army management, we can see our new units. So now, oh no, we have to make some tough choices by the looks of it. Oh, we do have these two in here already. Uh, hang on a moment. This doesn't make any sense. These two land speeders saved over our assault squads. We had an assault squad in here and that's disappeared. 
<laughs> That's embarrassing. Um, I think having two of them, two land speeds, is pretty good. They do meld quite well. Because like the two of them can move in, be pretty much guaranteed to kill a unit, and then leave. So they're not constantly just leaving stragglers behind, which I quite like. But I would like to get some armor piercing, you see. So I would like to get these guys in here. So I think I'll just get rid of an intercessor. And I'll bring in one of these for now. Good. So this is what we're going to be dealing with. I think that's pretty good. I think that's a good uh, a good spread. Now let's have a look at the HQ upgrade center. And see what's what. So Savage Technique puts up melee accuracy. Assault Tactics is something I have to cast. And Battle Line Tactics. That does have my Intercessors. Which sounds nice. Uh, frag Grenades are good. That's something I'd quite like to unlock. In fact, I might go all in for that. Although Crack Grenades also good. Yeah, the, oh, that's the Assault Squad, actually. The Crack Grenade. That would be pretty good, actually, if I could hop over um, the enemy lines and throw a Crack Grenade at them. Helps me destroy vehicles. Uh, supercharge is also really good. This is for the Hellblasters, which are our new unit. Um, so range damage goes up by 30%. And extra armor piercing, but each model has a chance to take some damage. But, seeing as how Brother Arturo can heal them up, that's actually a really good way to get rid of dangerous things very quickly. So I do quite like that too. Also, extra HP per model is nice. Hail of Fire is also very useful. I think I might... I actually well, just go nuts darkest, with this guy. We prevail through control. Nice. So yeah, I've just gone all in with uh, with his abilities. So that should help our aggressors and our new hellblasters and all of our infantry will get additional health. Sweet. Okay, next up it's going to be Reclamation Zone. The priest continues to natter in my ear about the Primaris. They have not yet shown any sign of the Black Rage. But we have both witnessed the thirst present within them. They don't yet understand the tightening of their cheeks, the sanguine flush of their skin come battle. No matter how well they think they hide it, these Primaris share our blood and its defects. The red thirst claws at their hearts. Let us see what becomes of it once they face the beast that killed Pentasio. Know your duty and discharge it above all else. That is the core of an Astartes being and the reason I am led to these festering pits. I have my duty to Pentasio and to Eighth Company. To have survived Leviathan only to be laid low by these scrap remnants. I do not deserve the honor of recovering his name. But if it is the Emperor's will, I will see it done. All right, good stuff. So uh, we'll read this tomorrow because we can do this uh, this mission tomorrow. That's it for the episode, guys. I know. So I hope this has given you a taste. And uh, yeah, I, I want to see what happens with with all of our boys and uh, what all these Tyranids still doing here. It's about time we kill them all, right? It's a right hassle. So intrigue is afoot. But mostly pew pew pew, which is what 40k is all about. And that's enough for me. But uh, yeah, great little tactics game. And uh, I highly recommend it. If you are looking to pre-order it, you can go to nexus.gg slash Janet to pre-order it. And it will give me a slight kickback, which is rather nice. But no pressure. I generally recommend that people don't bother buying games until they're out, or at least reviews are out. But, um, you know, if you trust me on this then and you wanted to get it, then that's a way to support the channel. Otherwise, uh, don't bother. Otherwise, go walk your dog or something. I don't really mind. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.